When the youngest child is finally old enough to move out, becoming empty nesters mm. doesn't have to be all lonely and sad. In fact, it actually has some advantages in relationship. Expert Nancy Pena is here to talk about the benefits of being an empty nester. It's hard for a lot of people, though, isn't it? Yes, it is, but I think the benefits are that you get to reconnect yeah. and you get to have your, you know, make your friendship the center point of your relationship instead of the kids mm -hmm. this time. The distractions are gone, the noise, uh, some right. of the drama, and all of that stuff. Uh, less laundry. I mean, there's a lot of different changes that are going to happen. Less groceries. You mm -hmm. have more time because you're not carting kids to their sporting events, making sure homework's done. You can focus on your individual goals. You can focus on your goals as a couple. You can go on date nights without having to make sure that everyone's accounted for. You can go on trips at the last minute and not have to worry what's the house going to look like when we get back. I hear from a lot of couples, though, once the kiddos leave, they say, wow, you know, we we don't even have anything to say anymore. We realize that every conversation focuses on the children. How do we reconnect? Where do we start? You have to start by redefining your roles outside of being mom and dad and go back to dating each other and remembering why you fell in love in the first place. And it does take a little bit of time. It's almost like going from a big high pressure job to not working at all. Mm -hmm. it, it does take an impact on your life mm -hmm. and you're physically and mentally emotionally. So just take a little time to reconnect with each other. Don't dive into home improvement projects or taking a lot of big trips just to fill up those uh, that time and avoid each other. You want to make sure that you have a solid friendship and redefine what you want to do together as a couple and individually and encourage each other in those new goals. So what if uh, some folks out there are going through this right now and they find that they are having a hard time and maybe they're hitting some bumps in the road with their relationship now that the kids are gone, what advice do you have for them to make this transition? If you're having a lot of trouble, I would definitely go seek some counseling because you want to make sure that your foundation is connected and that you're not going in this new stage of life just living together and not really taking the benefits of this new stage in your life. It sounds like it's also a wake-up call for all of us with young children to mm -hmm. remember to, to, to do some date nights along the way so that you don't yes. lose your way, so that you don't have so much work to do once the kids are gone. Mm -hmm. That would be the best approach is that you're proactive right now instead of waiting until and they're all gone and you're you? looking at you. Yeah, exactly. Like who, yeah, who is this person? Who is this person? Very good points coming from both sides here. Uh, excellent uh, topic, and hopefully we helped a lot of folks out there. I hope there. so, Nancy. Good to talk to you. Good talking to you. Thank you.